I am so excited. I just received my kitchen aid mixer and then the unboxing as you can see I ordered it in black onyx it comes in many different sizes the one I got is not a liftable lift up bowl but it does have a handle and it's a tilt head stand mixer and it's five quart it's about 23 pounds and the best way to unbox it I open the bottom of the box and we are just going to lift it up this way this it tells you different models that it comes with what other things it has so let's take out the parts that it's with dough hook here's a mixer hook and this is a shield this is so pretty here it is i love it what do you think you turn this button this way and you tilt it up and there's another attachment that it came with for this bowl. Here it is with the handle. Can you see how nice this bowl is? It's with the handle about it and it just locks at the bottom. I'm just going to keep all my things in here for right now. And this is the shield that goes on top of the bowl and then when you are cooking if you need to add more stuff to it it's not going to splatter and you can just add things to it it's pretty heavy it has 10 speeds so here is a perfect place for my KitchenAid mixer it's right here mixer air fryer toaster toaster oven and it's just looking beautiful in my kitchen. It matches all my appliances and I'm very happy with the purchase. Uh, today I'm making roti or pratha dough in a KitchenAid mixer. I just bought that and this is my first time using it and I'm very excited about it. So I want to share this experience with you and stay with me. So let's start with the dough. I'll tell you what I have in here. I have two cup of all-purpose flour two cup of uh, wheat flour or chapati flour, two teaspoon of salt. I'll be using butter today. You can use ghee or oil, it's your option. And I have four tablespoon of butter, one cup of milk and one cup of water. It's all together is two cup and it's lukewarm. And let's start. So our number one step is, I am going to put my dough hook on to put everything in here I could have used the same bowl but um, I don't know what I was thinking but next time and here's my butter okay so I added the cover like this like I said I'm using it the first time so I'm learning with you guys so here we go and all the speeds are right here so we are going to mix the flour first with the low slow speed and it's mixing it oh wow that is so cool and now I have a shield I'm going to add the water and milk slowly we're not going to add the whole thing all together and let's see how it looks
and you have to lock this before using it up from the other side there's a lock and I did not lock that and it was keep lifting so I just locked it now like I said this is my first time using it and I'm learning it with you guys looks like our dough is ready I'm just gonna remove this and and there's a lock and unlock button I'm gonna unlock this to tilt it this way and here you can see our dough is all ready oh my god this is looks so good I am so excited here you can see the inside how nice it's done and I used almost the entire liquid that made the perfect dough. And now we are going to keep this for at least 30 minutes before you can make your paratha or roti. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my today's video. Thumbs up and stay blessed. Please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for notifications.